Hello there, this is Sajan again. In this video, I am going to install FreeRadius as an external authentication server for our hotspot system. Well, in real-time deployments, we generally have multiple access points and uh, it will be very useful if we have a centralized authentication server for them. With that said, let's get in started in the installation of FreeRadius using sudo apt-get install. Uh, it takes a while to install and once it is installed uh, we need to modify few configuration files in order to make it uh, utilize our MySQL database ok let's first modify clients.conf search for the section client localhost go to IPADDR and verify that it is set to our localhost and the secret that is our free radius password is set that we have set in the kubachi list configuration file and make sure NAS type is set to other let's save the file and switch to another configuration file called radiusd.conf inside it look for sql.conf and uncomment this line again look for counter.conf uncomment this line as well then navigate to the section called instantiate go to the end and uh, append these two lines to it switch to another configuration file called sites-enabled slash default switch to authorize section look for SQL statement and uncomment it add the earlier two lines to it as well navigate to accounting section search for SQL statement and uncomment it as well switch to session section uncomment this line as well and finally to post auth section similarly uncomment SQL in here also save the file and switch to another configuration file called SQL MySQL counter.conf and append the following lines to this file save the file lastly con uh, edit this sql.conf file switch to sql section and provide our database details and credentials for it the user uh, that is used to log into database is defined as easy hotspot and this is the user that i will be using uh, in mysql and easy easy hotspot project as well the password will be as we have defined in Kubachi in this configuration and the database name will be easy hotspot underscore open source note that you can set these parameters according to your need just make sure that these are consistent across all your configurations now we are ready to start our free radius before we do that let's enable it so that it starts in a startup After starting, we can check its status and uh, it is active and running. This confirms our installation. Next, in next videos, we'll cover other remaining parts. For now, thank you for watching.